Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to iCraft SMP and as you can see I am putting a layer of the roof on. I'm going to be using dark oak for the roof and it's going to be a combination between dark oak stairs and dark oak planks and the dark oak planks are going to be sitting on the edge portion of this build and the actual the actual stairs will be covering everything else and the roof is going to pillar up I guess you could say into a house shape a house sort of shape like thing and I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to stand these up and I may just end up standing the inside ones up and you also notice the crafting table has gotten broken yet again yay so the crafting table does need some work of course and hmm, do I have enough I think I do have enough dark oak at least for the time being that I can see here Likely, I will have to go out and find more dark oak when I get there. But yes, for now, what I'm going to be working on is just kind of going around the build and doing the bottom staircase piece first, and then going around taking all of the dark, the, what is this, spruce wood, and pulling that out and replacing this spruce wood, essentially so that way it's vertical, and it just makes it so much easier to do when I already have all the staircases in. Then it won't fall off, right? So I will be back shortly with the next layer of roof. Okay, friends, I got to put a layer of dirt down here because the next piece actually goes right on top of the dirt. And that also means the dirt layer is going to be our roof layer for inside the house because we're going to essentially have a normal roof. And then right on top of said roof, it's going to be a layer of spruce wood kind of like that one way down there so it sticks out and then on top of that it's going to be a layer of of more of this dark oak and so we're going to essentially start building a second roof to the building which is going to oh geez which is going to be kind of nice and i think it'll be quite good now guys why have i not recorded quite yet i know i did a double recording and double uploading and everything so why did i not record well work of course i mentioned was very busy and so that was one reason I come home and I'm just like, okay, I am just not going to do anything as much as I would like to do it. I'm going to take a nap. That's essentially what I did. I've been going to bed kind of, not really, sort of early, but mostly just kind of hanging out and enjoying my evening, just not really doing a whole lot. That was definitely very helpful. But then the other thing I was also doing, at least for today... Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. If you guys have not seen it, I definitely highly recommend it. It's definitely well worth the watch. And if I were you, stay for all of the endings, okay? Not just the ending, all of the endings, okay? In other words, wait till the darn movie shuts itself off. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Yes, you will. And by the way, to hop today happened to be May the 4th be with you yes it does and this recording of course is going to go up after may 4th it's probably going to go up after may 5th yay so definitely for you guys um happy cinco de mayo which will be tomorrow for me and probably yesterday or the day before for you and then also happy may the 4th for you all as well yes so definitely enjoy your may 4th and may 5th and i'm going to take a quick nap Yeah, something else that I have gotten the opportunity to do on May 4th is be able to head out to the movie theater. Uh, and we went off to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And without spoiling anything, I've already said this just briefly, is that um, it is well worth the watch. A friend of mine made it 9 out of 10, and I do appreciate their rating scale, and I agree with most of it, actually. I gotta give it a lot of credit, and I am definitely looking forward to what Marvel has in store for the rest of the Marvel Universe. I believe they're still on Phase 3, and they should be heading into Phase 4 fairly soon if they haven't already done so. Movies I am definitely looking forward to is Black Panther. I really, really want to know what's going to happen with Black Panther and how they're going to portray that and, and see if they're going to portray that. There's another movie I'm looking forward to seeing. But I'm not going to spoil it until after you at least watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, yeah. And then another movie that I'm also looking forward to. I just realized I missed a block right there. I'm also looking forward to um, 
Spider-Man Homecoming. I've been seeing scenes on that one, and I do like the actor who's playing Spider-Man. I think it's coming out quite good as an actor. And what this looks like, by the way, I'm going to go back down and show you what it looks like real quick. It's pretty good, huh? It's coming out good. Now, they did do another overhang here on the bottom, and I haven't done it yet, and I'm just waiting to see how that up there turned out before I add a second row. Essentially, the second row is just more of the slab, kind of just sticking out here, kind of like so. And then this links up to another block that should be right about there. And so I'm not sure if I want to do that yet, so I haven't, I haven't quite formally decided if I'm going to stick this there. All right, friends, I think this came out really nice, and you can totally see the build looks really good. What I have to also do is add some hanging lanterns. And then right in here, it's going to have essentially some slabs. And it's going to essentially be skipping alternatively between these. This may not make sense now. But when you see this a little bit further away, you're going to be like, dang. Okay. And in fact, i got to change the shape. It's, the problem is I'm working off a build idea where the shape is definitely different. I didn't follow it completely to a T because I wanted to fit the darn thing. So one, two... Hmm. Hmm. There, it goes right in this darn center. Whoa. Okay. Never mind. I'm falling off now. Let's try to get back up there. There we go. Okay. Try that again. So one, two, one, two. And then three is where my problem is. So if I flip this around and I go here and here, I think that'll work better. But then I could put that there, skip to, put that there, and that would be a lot better. Yeah, now I just have to replicate some of this on the other side. And I'm going to show you real quick what this looks like right now, if I can just not die while I fall down. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Awesome. I like that. So three and three. So we're going to do that on the other side as well. I don't think I need to do it down the side here. I don't think that would be, would be pointless for the most part. The other thing is, by the way, I made a double door versus a single door. And inside, I changed the roof to be spruce. So that also means I'm going to change the floor to be spruce. And then sometime tomorrow, right now it's like after midnight. Hi, buddy. Right now it's after midnight. And what we're going to do uh, tomorrow is or so, I need to go gather some more spruce. So that way I have more wood to work with. Because, uh, yeah, just, just because these trees, you know. Anyway, so after I gather that, um, the wood, then we're going to be making a bunch of trapdoors and inserting them inside. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get my trapdoors going as well. Ooh, jeez. Got to be very careful with those hearts, people. Gotta be very, very, ooh, jeez. I'm, I'm like stuck in, what the? Guys, I'm stuck in between, I'm stuck inside the floor. How do you get out between the floor, guys? A uh, little help here. Somebody know how to get out, out under from under the floor? I hope so. I guess the easiest thing I can just... There. That that would do it. Perfect. Okay, guys. We are back. Alright, friends. So I opted to do this with the portal, actually. Just to kind of get it to stylized in the same way. And this will actually look very similar to that right over there. And so that way, it actually stylizes in very much a similar pattern. I changed out the floor from oak to spruce because I think in the end of the day, spruce will look better. And I'm pretty much out of spruce wood at this point, but now I have all these oak planks that I don't need anymore. But here's really, here's really why we are doing this. So we're going to go ahead and make some oak wood planks. And I'm just going to start with 64 because I'm going to show you kind of basically what this is all going to look like. And we're gonna make 16, that not 16 crafting tables. We're gonna make eight sets of two trapdoors. So about 16 trapdoors ish. And we're gonna show you what the trapdoors look like in just a second. There we go. We'll save those for later. Checking resource packs. Oh, that's very nice. That's always good. So when we put the trapdoors on here, what? Oh, okay, cool. I was like, what? <laughs> it wouldn't work. Yeah, so when we put the trapdoors on here, it's going to look really nice because then it's going to look like rice paper. It really is. It's going to look like rice paper. The only challenge, though, is I can't get it up there, which is uh, which is okay, but it's going to work everywhere else in here. And so now I've got this cool rice papery effect, and I can't do anything about that. And the other place I really can't do anything about it is in the corner. So, for example, like right in here, 
but we have a plan for the corners and that is going to be using stocks of and I'm going to need this spot just because uh, when I do this, for example, I can't stick one right in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use stocks of um, sugarcane for that purpose. And I'm going to show you how the sugarcane is going to work in a few minutes. So I need this spot too. Let me go ahead and get some of these. Um, well, I'm already done. There we go. I don't need to get some of these because it's done. So let's go grab some sugarcane. I do have a box of sugarcane right here with just 48 of them. I probably do need more, so I'm going to have to go around hunting around for more. And then I also need some water, and I think there is some water in there. There is. Look at me. I'm prepared today. So yeah, what we're going to do right in here, we're just going to take that block out. Ooh. And actually, we'll just take this block out. And what we'll do is stick some water inside this block here. And then repair the dirt that I just took out there and put a piece of dirt right up here. And technically, the sugar cane should be able to grow from right here. Right? And so you could do it that way. But in my case, I'd rather not have that color be the dirt. Now, um, I pulled it out earlier. And what I'm looking for currently is, yes, my hardened clay. My hardened clay. Because... In order, oh, this is not the one that has it. Oh no, I thought it was. I thought it was. Was it this one then? Ah, here it is. So I actually rather have it be an actual block. So let's go ahead and take those out for just a second. And we're going to replace that with this nice green color. So that way, when it does grow. We have this really nice green color effect on the floor here. And what I'm going to do is just to save some sugar cane. I'm just going to leave it like this and let it grow on its own. And so it's going to be like that in all the various corners. Okay, friends. I put in a lot of the sugar cane. And as you can see, it, it, it will slowly grow like this one will. And it's great for harvesting. I could totally harvest extra sugar cane if I need to. But yeah, I have sugar cane pretty much in all the corners. And I think it looks really pretty. And I also put sugar cane here. My only dilemma is what to do with these empty rooms here. Obviously, I can put a bed in one of these rooms. That would be easy enough to do. Uh, the only thing, the only thing is when I do this... This is what it looks, what it's eventually going to look like. And it leaves me very, very little space. But I do like this room being this way. It's kind of like a little mini sugar cane shrine diorama thingamajiggy. So I'm going to leave this one alone. Let this one grow. I tried this idea with this room and it, it, it works. But you could start to see what happens here with the corners on all four corners. And I guess I could leave it like that. Why not? And what I will do, since the bed's here, and I'll probably need to sleep anyway sometime tonight, I now have two beds, so maybe I could stick two beds in here. Uh, but yeah, so usually beds are done in the ground itself, so something like, something like this, right? It's more, oh, see, it's a little bit, it's a little bit too low. It really is, it's a little bit too low, I don't want it to be that low. But, I might be able to get around that, I don't know, let's try. What if I put that down there and I try to stick the bed on top? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, then it looks like we just have to put the bed on top. Darn it. I was hoping to have a bed be like flush with the ground. Oh, I can. I can. I could just get some wool. Friends, I could get some wool. Totally. I could do like a wool bed. It just means I one spot I won't have a bed. Mm -mm -mm. What color shall we use? We could use red and white, I guess. That could work, right? Maybe, possibly. Or just a straight red bed. There, a straight red bed, that will do it. And actually, even better than this would just be, you know what, I have a better idea. Let's use carpet. All right, friends, I think this building is officially done. I'm sure there's creepers out there. Um, well, with, a, with one exception, there is one more thing I do need to do, and I don't think I have it on me, which means I need to take a trip back to my, one of my bases to get them. I do have some anazite, so that's nice. I do, I guess I do have something. I don't have enough, that's not enough really to line the whole building, but for the most part, oh, welcome, welcome GSM time lapse. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, what I'm gonna do is andesite the bottom down here, so that way it gives it kind of a foundation to work with. And then I'm gonna take some of those, some of the mozzi cobbles, and I'm gonna use that to help cover up some of these deficits here. And I guess I'm gonna fill this in again, because, well, what? why not, right? Because it's a little bit odd to leave it looking like that so yeah we're gonna got some work to do to kind of finish the, the bits on the outside but the most part the rest of the build is done 
I like how it turned out. I really do. Yeah, that was full. I like how the building really turned out, and I wish there was a... I wish there was a better place to stand because, um, unfortunately, everything is covered by something. Let's see if I can get up there. Hua! I'm not going to get up there. Okay, let's try again. Ah! I think I made it this time. Ah, here we are. There we go. That's what the top of the building looks like, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see Luke made these really awesome looking signs right there. There's the shopping sign. Okay, friends, with the exception of all my junk that's here and my now empty inventory, I it is done. Let me show you what it looks like. I put puzzle around the entire outside, and I think it looks more fantastic with the puzzle base because then it matches the, the current environment that is in. And what, by the way, a building like this typically, and I, I don't know if I'll do this. I could go with some hanging lamps. And that would make for kind of a cool nifty effect. But yeah, a building like this typically is surrounded by a fence. And that fence typically keeps people, dens and whatever you want to call it, out of the build. And it's also a building that typically... I should have some floating around somewhere. Where is those darn lights? Yeah, so I have lights and I don't know where they are. Let me find them. Let me find them. I know they're around. Okay, I found them. 20 lights. That's all I got. So yeah, so th this kind of build typically is one... There we go. So I could do something like this and I just have to put, um, essentially wrap that around with um, trapdoors. And that will give me some lighting out here and I can get rid of some of the torches at least. And that would be a great way to go. So that way there's a little bit of light outside. Welcome back, Mr. JSM Time Lab. Welcome back. But yeah, built like this typically is surrounded by a fence, and I wonder if I should do it up there. That would be kind of a cool effect. I think I'll try. I will make the attempt to try way up there to see if I can... I'm going to have to get rid of this tree. This tree's got to go. This tree's got to go, folks. This tree's going. Goodbye, tree. All right, friends. I've added some extra lamps in here, so it actually looks nicer. This little, this little beanstalk of a tree needs to go because I don't know... It just doesn't look like very tree-like like it's supposed to. Not like his neighbors and friends. He's just, he's just a little scraggly thing. So we're going to make him into a much better tree. That way he can give me way more wood. We're going to take his little saplings, plant him everywhere. And actually I took down the big giant one as you can see. And we are going to use this spot to make a nice big giant tree. And that way I have to cut it down anyways later on. There's another one over there i got to cut down. But we're going to make a couple more spots with big giant trees. Only just so I can get more wood because I need a boatload of wood for what I'm thinking about doing next. At least in this area here. And the other thing we got to do is... Hmm, I wonder if I want to put, put a tree like maybe right in here. Uh, we'll try. We'll see, what, we'll, we'll see what grows there. And definitely I'm going to put one back here. I got five more so that means I can make at least one more big giant tree floating around out here. And there's no space really right now for it. So we're just going to put it right in the front yard somewhere. No, actually, let's put it over here. And this hole's got to go away. But I think first I got to explore that cave, see what's in there. See if there's anything worth getting out of that cave. Yeah, it was like there's more caves there. See if there's anything worth getting out of that cave and see what happens. All right, let's just stick this last one like, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe right here. There. There we go. Done. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so yeah, I need tons of wood for what I'm going to do next. Because this here is quite Diamond Shrine. And in order to fit the rest of the shrine mechanism, I need a fence gate to kind of go around this whole build here. Pretty much. Um, oh, actually, right about here. Right about here. Going around the entire thing to probably maybe right next to this thing here. And then it's going to have some other complexes and other buildings that's going to be lower down as it goes. And what I did bring with me is spruce stairs. And so as I close off the episode, if you guys like this episode, if you if you like how the building came out, if you like how the design came out, if you like the bedrooms, if you want to rent a room, you know, contact Koi. Koi will set you up at the room right here. This is a very nice Nice place, bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast, uh, bath, we're still working on the bath, bath is over there for right now, I can't help you otherwise, uh, at least until we get done with the bath portion, but yeah, otherwise, bed and breakfast, available to everyone, like, subscribe, leave me comments, 
and we will see you all next time and you can see what it does like when it grows completely it grows all the way up there and when i build more i can just come in here and deal the top half of the sugar cane as i go right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up and oh yeah i need way more glowstone if i'm gonna do this if i'm gonna keep building i'm gonna need way more glowstone so i think what we're gonna have to do is take another trip to search for glowstone and aside from that i don't know what else i think we're good i think we're good guys Alright guys, see you next time. Hmm. <laughs> Their way to the pit. Love it. Okay, bye.